What's up guys, the mirror 35 back here and today I have a new video and this one is finally the latest tutorial I will probably make uh, about adding new items, replacing them, cheating, hacking in-game items in Terraria because many people have been asking me questions and I just want to make one nice and fully explained tutorial so I don't get any questions anymore. Uh, well, uh, I'm going to start with the iOS version first. I also have an Android tutorial and this will be later in the video. I would uh, leave the time link in the description so if you're an Android user you can just skip some parts and see an Android version. Uh, but okay, as you can see here um, I'm in Syria and if you wonder my iOS version is 1.0. Eight, uh, sorry, 8.1.2 and the uh, first thing you're gonna wanna check is whether you have um, the Big Boss repository I guess that is, it's the standard one uh, which is installed by default to your Cydia but if you don't have it I will leave the link in the description so if you don't know how to edit uh, you pretty much click on edit add and here you type the URL I would leave in the description in case you don't have the Big Boss repository. So don't forget that your iOS device must be jailbroken. Otherwise, there is just no way to edit, hack, change your items in Terraria right from your phone or iPad or stuff. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, then you're gonna wanna click on search. And you want to find a program which is called Game Jam. As you can see, it's over here. And it would support all the iOS versions starting from iOS 6 uh, till iOS 8.4, I believe. And you can pretty much install it by clicking on this install button, which would be in your right corner. I already have it installed, so. I just don't need it to install a game, but you just click install in the right top corner and there you have it, Game Jam. Uh, if I'm right, you don't even need to reboot your phone for it, you just install it as a simple program. Okay, so once you have the Game Jam installed, uh, you can go, and, uh, go ahead and launch it. So I'm just clicking on it. And as you can see, this little menu appears. What I'm doing right now is pretty much launching Terraria, and uh, we'll be back in a second. So, all right, guys, we're here in the Terraria menu, uh, and uh, if you make sure that your device is jailbroken, running iOS not higher than 8.4, I believe, and you have the game gem installed and it's installed properly. You can start editing and hacking in items and replacing uh, the IDs. So, pretty much, you click on play. Uh, I would create a new character just to show you that nothing was edited before or stuff like that, just random names, uh, some worlds just first things that came to my mind all right over here we're creating a world and there we go and you have this little new world first thing you want to do is get any two uh, different items okay we'll get a wooden block and a dirt block in my case uh, oh <laughs> so many new enemies this is awesome i love the halloween time when you play the trailer but okay anyways anyways uh, we have um, two different items, wood and the dirt block. We don't need the gel, we can just remove it. So we have a wooden one and the dirt block. We would need to select the slot we would keep things at. So let it be this one which is between everything. Just follow the exact same steps I do if you are, want to be sure that you get just what, I, what you want and that this tutorial works. So, in my case, you can select anything you want, but if you are not sure, if you are not sure, you can follow all of the steps. But I would like to select uh, this little slot and place a wooden block over there, or any other item. You can use anything you want, a stone block and 
I don't know, a Terrorblade maybe even, <laughs> anything you want to replace. So I remember that this highlighted slot is with a wound block. Then I go to Game Jam, and here I'm going to select uh, Terraria by clicking on this little list with an eye in the top right corner, as you can see. Tapping on it, and I'm selecting Terraria. Now, what I want to do is click on this little coin, coins with a key icon, so it's also highlighted. Okay, clicking on it and changing the data type to int32. Just make sure it's int32. Uh, we select this because this is the data type Terraria works with to identify the items which are in your inventory. So make sure that int32 is selected, that Terraria is also selected, and then you want to make uh, a search for the item, for the ID of the item actually, which is in your which is in the slot you selected and highlighted. A wooden block ID is 9, you can check it in Terraria Gamepedia. I will also leave a link to all the IDs in Terraria in the description, so you can check everything. Alright, the highlighted and the selected slot contains a wooden block. A uh, wooden block ID is 9, so I'm going to search for 9. Click on the search button. Uh, it takes some time to load all the results, and then the end you have a big number. And uh, we needed a second item because of that reason. Now, we're just going to replace our first used item with anything else. In my case, there's going to be a dirt block. So I just replace them together. I just put the dirt block on the wooden one. And the dirt block, the new item that I placed, is in the same slot the first item was. In my case, it was the wooden one. So I just changed the places. And right now, I'm going to search for 2, because the dirt block ID is 2. I think everyone understands that. Okay, searching, and I got um, an amount of results of 14. Sometimes you can get up to 20, sometimes you can get 10. I think 10 is minimal, but it depends on different stuff. So if you have lower than 20, then it's okay. But sometimes you may still have like 60 from the second time. If you do, you just do this one more time. I mean like replace the items. And right now I'm going to search for wood again for ID9 because right now wood is in the selected slot. And as you can see, I get a little bit uh, less results. And if I replace it one more time, I may uh, either get less results, either get the same 12 results. So let's see. I search for 2 because right now the dirt block is again in the slot and the dirt ID is 2. And I'm searching and I still get 12. Probably 12 is the minimum amount. But okay, once you've done that, once you have a result between 10 and 20, you're gonna click on this little list stuff to the right of the amount of results to this little list button as you can see it's also highlighted one more time okay clicking on this under the coins and i'm going to select all the results with which are in 32 data type because this is the one we're going to work with once you selected them all uh, ignore the unit 32 just in 32 minutes you're gonna click this um, icon in the bottom right corner and you wanna click it. And here you just type anything you want, uh, any ID of the item you want. I wanna get a Terrorblade, the Terrorblade's ID is 757, so I type 757 over here. If you want to get something else, the ID would be different. Just check the ID of the item you need and type it over here. My item is going to be the Terrorblade, so I type 757 and click Modify. Then I go back to Terraria and in some time the Terrorblade appears. As you can see the title changed, but the description is still the same as the dirt block had. So it says it's a material and can be placed. To fix that you just exit the inventory. Um, Click the pause menu, wait until the loading screen disappears 
and then go back to main menu and just reload the world. And right now we should have a Terrablade in our case. So as you can see it's the original Terrablade with 88 mm damage right now with a proper description and a couple of other specifications. As you can see it's fully working, it's shooting this this magic missiles, <laughs> I don't know, hope you understand me. This is a really easy thing to do, I mean to add an item, if you do everything correct, it's super easy. Uh, let's test it on this slime, as you can see it gave him 94 damage and it actually works. So hope it wasn't hard, just rewatch the video, I try to explain as good as I can just for you guys not to ask me questions about it anymore. Um, and yeah, also make sure that you can't add, for example, Moonlord Spawner right now because at the moment Terraria doesn't have items from 1.3, this mobile version doesn't have them, so you can't get like Moonlord Spawner and other things from the latest updates on the PC because the mobile version is earlier and it doesn't have the Duke Fish run yet, but it's going to have soon. So you just can't add the items which just appeared at the PC, make sure about it. You can only add items which are craftable and obtainable in the current version of Mobile Terraria. So that was it. I don't know, if you don't understand this then I'm just really sorry, because I tried to do my best. Uh, but hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share it with everyone, so all the people don't ask me questions anymore, how do I get all these items, sometimes when I make special maps for Terraria, I don't use this method in my let's plays, uh, but sometimes I need to get a couple of wires for special maps, uh, like um, killing the dungeon guardian and stuff, there are uh, many cases, and using this but don't use this as cheating because it's not really interesting to play the terraria when you have all the items but sometimes just for fun with friends or anything else you can use it hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe that was me the mirror 5 and see you in the next video